Teenager hit and killed him. The man and his girlfriend were standing by a car. Lisa Benson talked with one neighbor who was there. Well, family and friends have been stopping by the house throughout the day. I talked to two of his sons who described their father as a kind man who went to two different churches every weekend. Phone, glasses, the markings on the street are an eerie indicator of what happened here. There was a horrible car wreck and there was a body laying at the end of the driveway. According to police, a 17-year-old driver hit and killed 52-year-old Kevin Maroney as he and his girlfriend and stood near her car last night. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital. She was awake and she started to get up and her leg was totally just broke right in half. Wessling and another neighbor performed CPR on Maroney, but soon realized it was too late. It's hard to see someone you've known for so long just laying there lifeless. Wessling believes the teen driver lives nearby. His parents showed up on scene. They were the first ones here and um, they got out of the car and ran over to the kid and they were yelling at him because it was a brand new car. Overland Park's traffic safety unit is still investigating. In fatal crashes, it's standard protocol for police to perform field sobriety tests and to take blood from the driver to check for possible impairments. Police sent the teen home with his parents this morning. It's not uncommon for someone to be released if there's not a flight risk there. Uh, so in this case, um, the case was reviewed with the district district attorney or representative from the district attorney's office uh, and it was determined that that would be an acceptable way to go at this point in time while the investigation continues and while that evidence is processed. Maroney is a father of four who owned his own business. His family is also looking for more answers into what happened here overnight. In Overland Park, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.